Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to Ode a Treasure. I'm Steven. This is my channel where I show off my fragrance collection as I buy them and as they come in the mail. I open them up on camera for you and just talk about what and why and how much I bought it for. This is episode 69, and in this box right here, I have a classic men's fragrance that I have never put my nose on but I constantly hear about it all the time. So I've been into fragrances for a few years now, over a few years now, like a decade, I've been into buying fragrances and trying them out. And only, I'd say the past five years or so, I've been buying them, buying a lot and saving them and collecting them. And this one always comes up in conversation. This is just, it's like a staple in men's perfumery when it comes to 80s manly Chypre style, just heavy, heady cologne for men. So this is, of course, as you know, this is Jacques Bogart's One Man Show. And this is still available. You can still buy these today. This is like a drugstore fragrance if there ever was one. But I've never seen it sold at a drugstore, at least you know, when I was growing up, maybe it was there, but as an adult. And if I buy this online now, what I would get would be a modern or newer version of it. But what I saw online was what I think an older vintage version of this. So that's why I bought it. I, it's easy to buy, but I bought this one because I want to check out a vintage bottle. Hopefully it's at least 20 years old. Hopefully it's at least from the 90s. Maybe it's from the 80s. So guys, if you're a fan of this fragrance, I hope you're watching. I hope you can leave a comment down below and let me know when do you think this came out. I'll show you the box. I'll show you the bottle. I'll show you all the clues. And uh, I'm going to smell it now for the first time and check this thing out. I've just heard about it all the time for years now. And here's my chance to try One Man Show for the first time. I'm going to get a microphone for this thing. I'm going to get a microphone that I can hook up and use when I edit these videos. So I'm, I'm aware that the audio kind of sucks. And, you know, I told you I'm a little bit lazy and I don't want to make a big production out of these videos. This YouTube channel is not really a big deal to me. What's a big deal is just buying and collecting and checking these things out. But I just thought it would be cool to make a cheap, easy video uh, just to show you what I'm doing here. All right. Here it is. So I don't see this for sale in Japan much at all. That's another thing that was intriguing about this. I don't get a lot of chances to buy this in Japan. Of course, they sell the new ones on Fragrance X. And a lot of Indian sellers that I buy from, sellers that I find on eBay that ship overseas have this too. That's it. Okay. One Man Show. Let's check this box out. All right. One Man Show. And here, American Pharmacy. 8,000 yen. So this is interesting. It's an old-looking tag. So I, I, think, um, I think I've seen a store called American Pharmacy uh, recently, like in the past year. And I think I went inside and said, this is Japanese stuff. This isn't really an American Pharmacy. It's just kind of a name. They have some international stuff in there. I didn't see this. Of course, I looked in the uh, fragrance section and I didn't see anything like this being sold there. I'm going to check again. I think the newer ones have a hologram here. I don't know if it's there. It's covering up. This uh, This sticker is covering it up. All right. Eau de Toilette, Jacques Bogart, Paris. That's interesting. 3,33 three, three. fluid ounces. 85%. Volume 100 ml. Let's check this box out for clues. Parfums Jacques Bogart. All right. Alcohol, water, perfume. Nothing on top. Let's check out the bottom. I'm not going to try reading that in French. Let's look at the back of this thing here. 
All right, EMB27448. This is the uh, Japanese product sticker. It's not printed on, it's actually a sticker. And isn't that cool? It has the price on it, 8,000 yen. I don't know what this address is. 100 ml. So this sticker, I can just tell, this sticker looks old. See the the way that the ml is? Just The new stickers don't look anything like this. And you've seen these stickers now in my videos. So it does look like a vintage bottle because I was looking on eBay. I just When I want to research vintage stuff, I'll just go to eBay and type in vintage, whatever the fragrance I'm looking for. Vintage One Man Show. And some of the clues are 85% volume. The newer ones don't have a three comma three three. And somebody was asking 150 bucks, but I looked up the sales and there's no sales of any of the old ones. People are asking from 150 bucks, some of them around 90, 80 bucks. Let's open her up and take a look. I wonder if there's a sheet of paper that usually comes with Japanese colognes. There's nothing in here. So I wonder if this is just so old that it was before they put the little information pamphlet in there. Information sheet. Okay. Well, this is in pretty clean shape. It's in really good shape, this thing. The box, at least. Let's look at the bottle. Let's see how much is in it. So it looked like in the... Uh, in the listing, there was just maybe 95%, almost full. Here it is, One Man Show. I thought it was old when I saw this in the picture, 85%, but it's 85, it's that degrees symbol. Jacques Bogart, 3.33 ounces, 100 ml. The bottle's really clean. You got the classic built-in sprayer here. Let's see what else is on the bottle. There's nothing on the back. Bottle looks really clean. Hardly used, as you can see. Uh, maybe, yeah, not more than 5 ml missing, if that. Maybe 3 ml missing. But we're splitting hairs. All right, what's on the back? H. P7 is in the glass, but that's usually not a batch code. So is there a batch code on this thing? There's the sticker. 8,000 yen. So how much was that at the time? Let's say this is the, let's say early 90s. 8,000 yen, I'm guessing that was like 60 bucks. 60, 50, 60, 70 bucks. So this wasn't really cheap at the time. This is just really nice, don't you think so guys? This is in really great condition for an old bottle. So I really wanted to try a vintage bottle. I don't know if it smells the same. I don't know what the modern one smells like, if there's a difference. I don't know anything about this, but this is 1980, Roger Pellegrino. And in a few videos, uh, not a few videos, I, I can't remember what number it is. Maybe I'll put a card up here. I did a video for Versace Lom, and Roger Pellegrino made that one. And I really like that one. It's just a strong citrus fragrance. And he made this one too. So I'm, I don't know if I have that bottle out. I think I packed it up. If I didn't pack it, I think I packed it up. I haven't seen it recently when I moved. So I want to compare them hand to hand, but I guess not. I'll just have to uh, rely on my memory. So there's no, I can't find a batch code on this guys. I don't know where to look. You let me know if I'm missing something. So we just have to go with clues from the box. Do you know what the 1980 bottle and box look like? All right, so what hand am I gonna spray it on? Well, today I gave myself a squirt I usually don't do this, but I gave myself a squirt of Kuros right here. I just wanted to smell Kuros. It's been a long time, and I still, I've washed the back of my hand. I haven't scrubbed it hard, but I've given it a light wash, and yeah, that that beautiful urinal cake of a smell is still, you know, still sitting there. 
So I'm not going to spray it here, but on this side, it's pretty clean. There's a faint smell of something. I can't even remember what it is. So it's so faint that I'm just going to give myself a shot here and try it out. So finally, um, getting my nose on Bogart's one-man show. This is a big deal to me. There it is. Awesome sprayer. It just comes out a huge poof. A huge plume of perfume. All right. Let's see what all the hype is about with this one. Wow, it's pretty strong alcohol. I gotta let this thing uh, air out a little bit. What else is there to say? I looked at some of the comments on Fragrantica about this. It's got a bunch of notes. It's got like 26 notes in it. It's your classic manly scent. It's green and it's clean. Or it's clean, clean and green. It has this soapy clean green scent are in some of the comments other comments it's super long lasting very strong but it really is 50 50 people are putting in comments that they hate it and it's not what they thought it was and they threw out their bottle or gave it away or it's great but it's also not great so people are like it's really good but at the same time it's not good so people the negative comments are a lot of them just say that it's done so much better in other fragrances. Somebody said that they like Versace Lom. Uh, this profile is much better in Versace Lom than this one. But it's still here today. They haven't changed it. I don't know how much they've reformulated it. There's just something about it that it just has a... Um, I don't know what the word is. It's just It just has its presence. It has its place in men's perfumery. All right, so I'm getting a whiff of it now. I didn't spray a lot on. You saw I gave it basically two sprays. It's not that strong to me. I do smell the pine. And it is pretty, you know, it is pretty, I wouldn't say it's polo green as far as green goes. It's not, there's no tobacco that's really strong, but it does have the pine elements. It is musky. It is uh, animalic. Do I like it? Yes, I do like it. And that's what I expected of this, really. This is what I expected. I kind of expected it to be a little bit more tobacco-ish, a little bit stronger, actually. Uh, is this weird? I'm thinking it's not strong enough. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. I thought I would get, like, blown away by this thing. I think it's fine. I'm trying to think of what else I have that I can compare it to. On Fragrantica, the uh, reminds me of, the number one reminds me of fragrance is called Crisia Uomo. And I've never smelled that, but I'm curious about that because it's got a lot, of, a lot more thumbs up than thumbs down. A couple other ones on that list, there were uh, like 70 or 69 or 70 thumbs up for Corum by Puig, Puig Corum, but there were also a lot of thumbs down on that one. I don't think Corum is like this one. I think it's a little bit lighter than this. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. Um, I, I'm impressed, I'm happy about it, but it's just not as strong as I expected it to be. Nothing bad about that at all, but that's it. I think this is a vintage bottle of One Man Show. Come to think of it, looking at the box, there is no barcode anywhere on this box. There's no barcode. There's no um, green dot yin yang thing. So this is, looks like it's from the 80s, guys. What do you think? If it's not, if you have some comments about this, please comment below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please come back for more updates as I keep adding to my collection. And leave me a comment, say hello, give me some information. I love learning from you guys. I don't do a whole lot of research on this stuff, to be honest. I go to eBay. I look for previous sales to see what things are worth. I look at eBay listings to compare some old vintage boxes but and bottles. But what I don't like are people are not good at taking pictures. People take crappy pictures or there's no pictures at all. 
except for just one stock picture. So Fragrantica, Raiders of the Lost Scent, I go to these sites to look up information, but that's it. So I get a lot of information from you guys in the comments, and I really appreciate it. Real quick before I go, what did I pay for this? Well, new, this is dirt cheap. I mean, this is like a $10 or $12 fragrance, right? The new ones are at least, and maybe it's always been that price. I think with shipping, if I tried to buy this on Fragrance X, something like that, it would be like 20 bucks. But like I said, I don't want a new bottle of it. That's easy to get. I wanted a vintage. So I paid 2,000 yen for this. It was 2,200 yen. I asked for a discount. I got 2,000 and I bought it. And in dollars, that's $14 and change. So this is one of those rare fragrances where I might have paid more than retail to get it. But I'm okay because this is, this is kind of a rare thing. And we're talking about 14 bucks, so it's nothing. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for coming back, as always. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching.